Hi there. I see you're examining the fruits in my orchard. Anything catch your eye? Yes, absolutely. I'm a pharmaceutical chemist and I'm always on the lookout for natural ingredients that could be useful in my work. That's interesting. Well, we have a wide variety of fruits here. Which ones are you specifically interested in? I think I'm most interested in the citrus fruits. Lemons and grapefruits in particular have been known to have a lot of beneficial properties. Ah, uh, yes. We have some great ones here. Lemons are especially popular for their acidic properties that can help with digestion and boost the immune system. That's exactly what I was thinking. Do you already use any of your fruits in any homemade remedies? Actually, yes. We make a drink with ginger, lemon, and honey that always helps us when we have a sore throat. That sounds delicious. And effective too, I'm sure. Definitely. We also use the peel of lemon in our face masks to brighten our skin. Wow, I never thought of using lemon that way. You really have a lot of knowledge about natural remedies. It's something we've learned over time. It's always good to have a few tricks up your sleeve when you're far from a pharmacy. Absolutely. Well, it seems like you have everything I need for my next project. Thanks for your help and your fruit. My pleasure. Stop by anytime. Good morning, B. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay, just a bit tired. I see. Well, we're going to do a routine checkup on you today. Do you have any concerns? No, not really. Just hoping everything's normal. That's good to hear. Let's start with taking your blood pressure. Okay, sure. Your blood pressure is looking good today. B, keep up the healthy habits. Thank you. I'll try my best. Now, let's take a look at your heart rate. Is it supposed to be that fast? No worries. It's a bit elevated, but nothing too concerning. I think you're just a bit nervous. Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry, we'll make sure everything is taken care of. In the meantime, have you heard any good jokes lately? Actually, I did hear one the other day. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. I have one for you too. Why was the math book sad? Why? Because it had too many problems. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one too. Okay, I think we're all done with the checkup. Everything looks normal. Keep taking care of yourself, B. Thank you, Nurse A. It was nice chatting with you. Hey there. As a software engineer in this manufacturing company, I think we should start experimenting with AI. Absolutely agree. As an AI engineer, I think it's high time that we bring AI to the manufacturing sector. But how do we start? Do we need to revamp the entire production line? Not necessarily. We can start small by using AI to monitor the production process and detect flaws. Ah, that's smart. And then we can move on to using AI-powered machines to do simple tasks. Exactly. That way, we can free up time for human workers to focus on more complex tasks. And that would lead to increased productivity and higher quality products. Yes, and we can even use AI to analyze data from sensors to optimize the production process. That's amazing. But what about the cost? Won't it be expensive to implement AI? It can be costly, but it's worth it in the long run since it leads to greater efficiency and quality. Right, so we need to convince the higher-ups to invest in AI technology. That's our job. We can present them with data on how AI can improve production and show them the potential return on investment. I like it. It will be a great challenge for us to bring AI to the manufacturing sector. Absolutely, but we're up for it. We have the skills and knowledge to make it happen. Let's do this. We'll make history by bringing the power of AI to the production line. Yes. With our combined expertise, we'll revolutionize the industry and create innovative solutions that will benefit everyone. Hi, B. Nice to see you here. Hi, A. Great to see you too. How's your project going? It's going well. We are trying to optimize the user interface of our smartphone app. Oh, that's interesting. What kind of changes are you thinking of? We want to make it more user-friendly and intuitive. Our current interface is a bit cluttered and confusing. Yeah, I can understand that. How about adding some animations or visual cues to guide users? That's a good idea. We were actually debating that. Do you have any specific suggestions? Maybe you could use micro-interactions to make specific actions more engaging. For example, when the user presses a button, the button could respond with a subtle animation or sound. I like that. It would give users a sense of feedback and make it more satisfying to use. 
Exactly. Another idea is to use colors to differentiate important elements from less important ones. Yes. We were thinking of doing that as well. We want to create a hierarchy of information so that users can easily find what they need. That's definitely important. You could also simplify the language and instructions so that it's easier for non-tech savvy users to understand. Good point. We want to make the app accessible to as many people as possible. That's commendable. By the way, have you thought about incorporating some gamification elements? Hmm, not really. How do you think that would improve the user experience? Well, gamification makes things more fun and motivational. You could add rewards or points for completing certain tasks or using the app regularly. That's an interesting idea. It would definitely make the app more engaging. I'm glad I could help with your project. Good luck with the UI design. Good morning, sir. Can I see your driver's license and registration, please? Of course, officer. Here you go. Thank you. Do you know why I pulled you over today? No, officer. I'm not sure. You are going 20 kilometers over the speed limit. Do you have a reason for speeding? Sorry, officer. I was just in a rush to get to work. I understand, but speeding puts everyone on the road in danger. Can you please step out of the car for a quick breathalyzer test? Sure thing. All right, you're clean. Make sure to slow down in the future, okay? Yes, officer, I will. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, actually. Are there any other driving regulations that I should be aware of in the Adelaide area? Well, it's always important to keep an eye out for speed limit changes and to come to a complete stop at stop signs. And of course, never drive under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thank you, officer. I'll keep that in mind. All right, sir. Have a safe and pleasant day on the road. Thank you, officer. You too. Hey, did you hear about the system malfunction this morning? Yeah, it was a disaster. What happened? Apparently, the servers crashed and no one could access any files. That sounds like a nightmare. Did IT figure out what caused the crash? Not yet, but they're working on it. Maybe it was the work of a hacker? Or maybe the system was just overloaded. I hope they can fix it soon. Same here. In the meantime, how are we supposed to get any work done? We could always resort to using pen and paper. Huh. That's a good one. But seriously, we should look into alternative solutions until the system is fixed. Like what? Maybe we could use a different software or program temporarily. That's a good idea. I'll contact the IT department and see if they have any recommendations. Great, let me know what they say. In the meantime, let's grab some coffee and brainstorm some more ideas. Sounds good to me. I'll buy the coffee if you come up with the most creative solution. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Okay, hear me out. What if we... Wow, I never thought of that. That could actually work. Thanks, I try. But let's not get too excited just yet. We still need to run our ideas by IT. Right. I'll send them an email and see what they think. Perfect. I think we're on the right track to resolving this issue. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Hi, I work for a car rental company and was wondering about the process for renting cars at this airport. Sure thing. We have two options for you, the daily parking lot and the hourly parking garage. You can park your rental cars in either of those, but the rates differ. That's good to know. What about the process of getting to the parking stands? Our shuttle service runs between the rental car stations and our parking lots. Just let us know your company and they will direct you to the correct shuttle pickup point. Thanks. And what happens when we return the car? You can park it in the designated area for your car rental company and our shuttle will take you back to the airport terminal. Simple and easy. Sounds great. How about the payment? The parking fees are paid at the end of your rental period. And as for the rental payment, it can be made either online, when you reserve the car, or at the rental counter. Excellent. Thanks for the detailed explanation. You've been a great help. My pleasure. Have a good day and safe travels. Good morning. Are you enjoying your visit to Avalon Peninsula? Yes, absolutely. This place is so beautiful. I'm glad to hear that. So, what would you like to do today? Well, I heard that there's a nice beach nearby. Can we go there? Definitely. We can drive there in just a few minutes. But first, we should have some breakfast. Sounds like a plan. What do you recommend? 
There's a cute cafe down the street that serves delicious pastries and coffee. It's a local favorite. That sounds perfect. Let's go there. Great. By the way, have you tried any of our local seafood yet? Not yet. Do you have any recommendations? The lobster here is amazing. We can have that for dinner tonight if you're interested. I love lobster. That sounds like a great plan. Perfect. After breakfast, we can also visit a lighthouse and a museum if you're interested. Oh, yes please. I love visiting museums. Awesome. We can also try some whale watching if we're lucky. Wow, that sounds like an incredible experience. It definitely is. And of course, we can't forget about hiking. Of course. I heard there are some beautiful trails here. Yes, there are. I can take you to some places with amazing views. That sounds fantastic. Thank you for being such a great guide. You're welcome. I'm happy to show you around and make sure you have a memorable trip. Hi there, how's it going? Not too bad, just getting these veggies chopped up for the stir-fry. Ah, uh, that'll be a nice addition to our barbecue feast tonight. Definitely. Which meat cuts do you have in mind for grilling? How about some beef short ribs and marinated chicken kebabs? Sounds perfect. I'll make sure to season them just right. Speaking of seasoning, have you heard about the latest trend of using fruit in marinades? Yes, I've tried a mango and habanero marinade myself. It was surprisingly delicious. That sounds intriguing. I might have to try that out next time. And I've been wanting to try cooking some Korean fusion dishes at home. Any recommendations? Well, there's bibimbap tacos or Korean fried chicken sliders. They're both really popular right now. Wow, those sound amazing. I'll definitely give them a try. Glad to hear it. By the way, did you catch the game last night? No, I had to work late. Who won? The home team pulled off a close win in overtime. It was a nail-biter. I'll have to catch the replay. I love watching live sports. Me too. Especially when there's good food and drinks to go along with it. Speaking of good drinks, did you try that new craft beer we got in the other day? I did, and it's delish. I might have to stock up on a few cans to take home. Agreed. It's always nice to have some quality brews on hand. All right, let's get back to cooking up a storm. Our customers are going to be in for a treat tonight. You got it. Time to work some kitchen magic. Hi. Have you tried the carousel yet? Yes, I just did. It was so much fun. Oh, really? I haven't tried it yet. Can you describe the experience? Well, the music is so cheery and brings out the child in you. Riding on the horse and going around in circles is like reliving a childhood memory. Sounds like a ride I don't want to miss. How fast does it go? Not very fast, to be honest. It's more of a slow and steady pace, perfect for taking in the ambience of the place. That sounds nice. Do you have any tips for a first-timer like me? Don't be afraid to choose your horse and hold on tight as the ride begins. And it's even better if you can ride with friends. Thanks for the tips. I'm excited to try it out now. Sure thing. I hope you have as much fun as I did. Hey, speaking of memories, do you have any childhood memories at amusement parks? I remember always trying to win those giant stuffed animals at the carnival games. And never succeeding, of course. Ah, uh, I can relate to that. I remember being too scared to go on the big roller coaster, but then finally mustering up the courage to try it and loving it. It's funny how those experiences stick with us, even years later. But hey, that's what makes these kinds of places so special. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to creating some more memories here today. Same here. Let's go check out the other rides. Good morning, B. This is such a lovely day to be out here in the hills observing wildlife. Yes, it is. I'm excited to see what we'll spot today. Have you been studying any specific species? Actually, I've been pretty interested in the eastern bluebirds. They are such beautiful little birds. That's interesting. I, on the other hand, am really hoping to spot a bobcat. They are such elusive creatures. I can understand why you would want to see a bobcat. But let's not forget about the plants and trees around here that deserve recognition. Look at all of these wildflowers. The colors are so vibrant. Hey, do you know what kind of tree that is over there? That one? That's a dogwood tree. They're known for their pretty pink or white flowers in early spring. Wow, I learn something new every time I'm out here. Oh, look. There's a family of deer. 
how adorable. Be sure to note their behavior in your journal. We need to keep track of their movement patterns. Absolutely. But I'm also just enjoying the moment. It's peaceful out here. It's really important to take a break from our busy lives and just appreciate nature every once in a while. Agreed. By the way, have you tried any new conservation techniques lately? Yes, I've been experimenting with hydroseeding on some of the erosion-prone areas. It seems to be effective so far. That's fantastic. I'll have to look into that for some of my research projects. Great idea. It's always good to collaborate and learn from each other in the scientific community. Definitely. Well, we should probably start heading back towards the car. I need to get some notes typed up on the observations we made today. Of course. Thank you for coming out here today and sharing your knowledge with me. Anytime, hey. It's always a pleasure to work with a fellow nature enthusiast. Hey son, have you made a list of things we need to buy? Yes dad, I wrote it last night. We need bread, milk, eggs, cheese and some fruits. Great. Do you want to help me find them in the supermarket? Sure, Dad. Let's go. Do we need any meat for dinner tonight? Hmm. I think we have some chicken at home. How about we make a vegetable stir-fry? Sounds good to me. Can we also get some ice cream for dessert? Of course. Which flavor would you like? Strawberry, my favorite. All right, let's make our way to the dairy section. Do you need anything else? Nope, that's all. All right, let's go. Hey, do you remember the last time we shopped at the supermarket? Yeah, we got lost and couldn't find our way out. Haha. <laughs> that was a funny memory. Don't worry, we won't get lost this time. I hope so, Dad. You know how bad my sense of direction is. No worries, son. I'm here to guide you. Now, let's grab some bread first. Okay, lead the way. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Miami Beach Hotel. How may I assist you today? Hi there. Yes, I am here to check in for my reservation. Great to hear that. Can I please have your name and confirmation number? Sure. My name is Sarah Smith, and my confirmation number is 1234567. Thank you, Miss Smith. Let me check that for you. Ah, uh, yes, I found it. You have a deluxe king-sized room with an ocean view. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Excellent choice. And may I have your passport or ID for verification purposes, please? Of course, here you go. Thank you, Miss Smith. Let me just run a quick credit card check for the incidental fees. All right, everything looks good. Here's your key card and information about the hotel amenities. Thank you so much. Can you recommend any good restaurants in the area? Absolutely. We have a lot of great options around here, but my personal favorite is Joe Stone Crab. They have amazing seafood and a lovely ambience. Sounds fantastic. I'll definitely check that out. Do you have any special events or activities happening at the hotel this week? Yes, we have a rooftop pool party with a DJ tonight and a sunset yoga session on the beach tomorrow. Would you like to sign up for any of those? That sounds awesome. I'll definitely sign up for the rooftop pool party. Thanks for the recommendation and the great service. You're welcome, Miss Smith. Enjoy your stay here at the Miami Beach Hotel. Hi there. I'm looking to change up my appearance a bit with some new cosmetics. Absolutely. What kind of look are you going for? Well, I've got a big blind date coming up and I really want to wow them. Ooh, exciting. What kind of style do you usually go for? Honestly, I don't really have one. I just want to look my best. Okay, how about we start with a fresh foundation and some bright lip color? It'll really make your features pop. Sounds good. Do you have any recommendations? Definitely, let me show you some options. What's your skin type? I have dry skin, especially in the winter. Not a problem. I recommend this hydrating foundation and this lip color in a bold red shade. Wow, I never would have thought to wear red, but I love it. That's the spirit. Confidence is key on a date. How about we finish off with some mascara and a touch of blush? Perfect. I trust your expertise. Thank you so much. No problem at all. You're going to knock their socks off on that date. Good morning, B. How was the fish market today? Good morning, A. It was great. We got some amazing catch today. How about you? We had a busy morning too. Now it's time to prepare some delicious seafood dishes for our customers. That sounds awesome. 
I'm excited to see what you'll make out of our seafood. We aim to provide the freshest seafood in town, and with your help, we can achieve that. Absolutely, we share the same goal. I've been thinking of creating a new seafood platter. What do you suggest for the catch today? How about adding some grilled squid? It's a popular dish that goes well with seafood platters. Great idea. And maybe we can also garnish it with some fresh herbs and lemon to give it a zesty flavor. Yes, that will definitely enhance the dish. You're a creative chef, eh? Thank you, B. Your expertise in selecting the best seafood also helps us in achieving our mission of serving quality dishes. It's always a pleasure to work with you, eh? By the way, have you tried the new fish supplier in the market? Not yet. Who are they? They sell very good quality fish at a reasonable price. I'll take you there sometime. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to try their fish. Great. Let's plan for it soon. Sure, let's do it. And in the meantime, let's focus on creating sumptuous seafood dishes that will make our customers happy. Agreed. Let's get to work. Hello there. How are you enjoying your visit to the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park? Hi. I'm having an incredible time here. The views are breathtaking, especially with the lava eruptions. Yes, it's quite a spectacle, isn't it? Have you been able to get up close to the lava flow? Unfortunately not, as it's too dangerous to get too close. But I've been able to see it from a safe distance and it still looks amazing. Absolutely. The heat and sound from the eruption is something unforgettable. Have you tried any of the local Hawaiian cuisine yet? Yes, I've had some amazing poke bowls and shaved ice. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, there are so many great options. One of my favorites is Kalua Pig, which is cooked in an underground oven. It's very delicious. That sounds interesting. I'll definitely have to try it. Have you been to any of the other attractions in the park? Yes, I've been to the Thirst and Lava Tube and the Kilauea Visitor Center. Both are very interesting and informative. I haven't had a chance to visit those yet, but I'll definitely check them out. How long have you been working at the park? I've been working here for about two years now. It's a great place to work and I love being able to share the beauty of the park with visitors like yourself. That's wonderful. Thank you for all your help and for making my visit here memorable. It's my pleasure. If you have any questions or need any more recommendations, just let me know. Enjoy the rest of your visit. Good morning, B. How's the research going so far? Hi, Professor A. It's coming along pretty well. We might have made some breakthroughs. That's great to hear. What did you discover? It's about a new compound that we've been experimenting on. It has some interesting properties that we didn't expect. Oh? Could you elaborate a bit more? Sure. It seems to have magnetic properties, so we're trying to figure out how we could potentially use it in different applications. That sounds intriguing. Do you have any ideas to share? Not yet, but we're planning to test it out in different fields. Maybe we can even think of something completely new. Wow, you're full of enthusiasm. Keep it up, B. Sometimes the best discoveries come from experimenting in different ways. Thank you, Professor A. It's all thanks to the knowledge and guidance you've imparted to me. Chuckles, you're too kind. Just remember, science is a collaborative endeavor. We learn from each other, no matter if you're a professor or a student. Absolutely. That's why I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with you and learn from your experience. It's my pleasure as well. You're a valuable asset to the research team. I can't wait to see what ideas you'll come up with next. Likewise, Professor A. Let's continue with our experiment and see where it takes us. Sounds like a plan. Let's get back to work. Hey B, it's great to see you. So, what's on our agenda today? Hey there. Today, we need to brainstorm about designing an online store that's easy to use for customers. Awesome. How about we start with the color scheme and layout? We want something that's eye-catching and visually appealing. Completely agree. I've been thinking about something bright, maybe with some gradients or color pops. What do you think? That sounds great. Additionally, we need to make sure that the website is mobile-friendly. People these days often shop using their smartphones. Absolutely. And we should keep the navigation simple and straightforward. Customers shouldn't have to waste time searching for what they need. Yes, and we should also have multiple payment options. The more options, the easier it is for customers to complete their purchase. That is true. And what do you think about having a feature that suggests related products to customers based on what they're browsing? Oh, that's a good idea. 
it could actually help in boosting sales. And we could also include customer reviews for each product, as social proof urges buyers to make purchases. You're right. And we could make the site more interactive and engaging by incorporating things like product demos or multimedia content. And let's not forget about making the search feature easy to use. Allowed customers to search by keywords, price ranges, or even color options makes the whole shopping experience more convenient. I can't agree more. One last thing, we should ensure the website's loading speed is fast, as shoppers expect instant gratification these days. Excellent point, B. Overall, let's make sure that the website is easy to navigate, engaging, and user-friendly. Sounds like a plan, A. I can't wait to implement these ideas and see the site go live. Hey there, B. I heard we're working on developing a smart traffic management system for our smart city company. Exciting, isn't it? Yes, indeed. It's going to be a challenging project, but I'm up for it. Me too. I think we can apply some machine learning algorithms to predict traffic patterns and optimize traffic flow. That's a great idea, eh? We can also incorporate some predictive modeling techniques to estimate traffic congestion levels at different times of the day. Definitely. Another possibility is utilizing real-time data from sensors and cameras to quickly respond to traffic incidents and accidents. Hmm, we should also look into how we can make the system user-friendly for drivers, pedestrians, and public transportation users. Good point. Maybe we could create an intuitive dashboard displaying real-time traffic updates and alternative routes for drivers. For pedestrians, we could provide information on safe and efficient walking routes, including real-time information on traffic light changes and pedestrian crossings. And we could even integrate real-time bus and subway schedules so commuters can plan their journeys ahead of time. Exactly. I think we're on the right track with this project. Agreed. The possibilities are endless with smart city technology, and I'm excited to see what we can accomplish with this traffic management system. Me too, A. Eh? Time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Hey B, how's it going? I see you're going through the financial statements. Hey A, eh? you're just trying to get a grasp on our expenses and revenue for the month. How about you? I'm reviewing the budget for the upcoming quarter. We need to make sure we stay within our limits. Yeah, I agree. It's tough to balance everything, especially with all the unexpected expenses that pop up. That's true. But it's important to plan for those too. I think we should set aside a contingency fund for such situations. Good point. We need to be prepared for the unexpected. But at the same time, we don't want to overbudget either. Of course not. It's a delicate balance. I think we should try to cut down on unnecessary expenses as much as possible. Absolutely. We should also consider increasing revenue streams, like maybe hosting a store event or something. That's a great idea. It would not only increase revenue, but also improve customer engagement. Exactly. We need to keep our customers happy and engaged to sustain our business. Agreed. Well, looks like we have our work cut out for us. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Hey, together, we got this. Hello there, B. Welcome to our vineyard. Thank you, A. Hey. It's a beautiful day. I'm excited to sample your wines. We are happy to have you here. Let me show you around and explain our winemaking process. Great. I see you have a variety of grapes here. Which ones do you use for your wines? Our primary varieties are Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. Interesting. Let's start our tasting with the Chardonnay. What can you tell me about this wine? Our Chardonnay is fermented in oak barrels, which gives it a rich, buttery flavor. It definitely has a smooth finish. Now, let's move on to the Cabernet. I'm a big fan of this varietal. Our Cabernet is aged in French oak for at least two years, giving it a spicy and full-bodied taste. Delicious. And last but not least, the Merlot. Our Merlot is known for its smooth and velvety texture, with hints of raspberry and black cherry. This is fantastic. You truly have a great selection of wines. Do you have any favorites? It's hard to choose, but I personally enjoy the Cabernet the most. I can see why. Thank you for the wonderful tour and tasting, A. Hey, it was a pleasure to be here. Thank you for coming, B. We strive to create the best wines, and we're glad you enjoyed them. Hi, I need to check my luggage weight. Sure, no problem. How many bags do you have? Two, one big and one small. Okay, let's start with your big bag. Can you please put it on the scale? Sure thing. Puts the bag on the scale. Great, that one weighs 23 kilos. What about your small bag? 
Puts the small bag on the scale, hmm, it's only 7 kilos. Perfect. Your total luggage weight is 30 kilos, well under the limit. Phew, I was worried I might have to pay an overweight fee. Don't worry, we wouldn't let you leave with an overweight bag. You guys are lifesavers. Thank you. It's all part of the job. Have a safe and enjoyable flight. Thanks, you too. Hey, have you tried the fried rice here? It's so good. Of course, I have. It's my favorite dish in this restaurant. Really? I thought that was the spicy noodles you always order. Oh, that's my go-to dish, but the fried rice is an equally delicious alternative. I could never choose between them. Maybe we should order both and share? Sounds like a great plan. Two delicious dishes in one meal. Do you like your fried rice with vegetables or meat? I prefer vegetables, but I won't say no to some chicken or shrimp. Same here. The mix of textures and flavors is what makes fried rice so irresistible. You're absolutely right. I also love how versatile it is. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yeah, it's like the perfect dish for any time of day. Plus, it's so easy to make at home. True, but it never tastes as good as when you order it from a restaurant. That's because they add some secret ingredient that we don't know about. Or maybe it's just the wok hay that we can't replicate at home. That's another possibility. But one thing is for sure, we'll always come back to this restaurant for their amazing fried rice. Totally agree. Let's dig in. Hey B, have you had a chance to take a look at the design specs for our new product interface? Yeah, I did. They're pretty straightforward, but we should definitely make it more eye-catching. Agreed. Since you're the visual designer, what do you recommend we do? I was thinking we could play around with some color palettes and typography choices to make it pop a bit more. Maybe even incorporate some fun animations. Sounds good to me. As for the front-end development, I was thinking we could add some interactive features to make it more engaging for users. That's a great idea. We could even do some user testing to see what elements they find most appealing. Definitely. And since we're a design company, we should make sure to showcase our creativity in the final product. For sure. Let's make it something that makes people go wow. Exactly. I think if we combine our strengths and work together seamlessly, we can create an interface that not only looks good, but is user-friendly and functional. Agreed. And hey, who knows, maybe we'll win an award for the design. Haha, <laughs> one can dream, right? Let's get to work. Hi there. Thanks for meeting me today. Can I get you anything to drink before we start? No thank you, I'm good. But I must say, this cafe has a really good vibe. Yes, definitely. So, tell me a bit about yourself. What inspired you to pursue your career in music? My parents were both musicians and I grew up with music around me all the time. I fell in love with it and decided to pursue it as a career. That's amazing. What kind of music do you enjoy playing the most? Honestly, I enjoy playing all types of music. It's hard to pick just one. I completely understand. Do you have any funny or interesting stories from your time performing? Actually, one time during a live performance, my guitar string broke and flew out into the audience, hitting someone in the front row. Everyone had a good laugh about it afterwards. That's hilarious. Have you ever had any embarrassing moments on stage? Oh yes, once I tripped and fell during a guitar solo. But I just got up and kept on playing like nothing happened. That's the spirit. What's next for you in terms of your career? Well, I'm currently working on my next album and planning a tour. So, lots of exciting things to come. Sounds great. Thanks so much for chatting with me today. It was a pleasure getting to know you better. No problem. Thanks for having me. Good morning everyone, welcome to our daily stand-up meeting. Let's start with our progress on the current projects. Morning A. I'm currently working on the new module for our accounting software. I've completed the database design and I'm currently working on the UI. Great job, B. Any challenges you're facing? Yes, I'm having some trouble with the UI design. I'm thinking of using some animations to make it more interesting. Well, if you need some inspiration, I've got some cat videos that always make me laugh. Laughs, thanks A. That could actually work. Glad to help. Let's move on to the next project. C. How's the testing going on the app update? Fantastic news. D. I see you've been working on the website redesign. How's that coming along? Take your time, D. We want to make sure we get it right. All right, everyone, that's all for today. Have a great day and keep up the good work.
Good afternoon, how can I help you today? Hi there, I'm experiencing some unpleasant side effects from my medication. I'm sorry to hear that. What medication are you taking? It's for my allergies. It makes me feel really sleepy and groggy all day. Ah, uh, that's not good. Have you spoken to your doctor about these side effects? Yes, but he said it's normal and that I just have to deal with it. Well, there are actually a few things we can try to lessen the side effects. Really? That would be great. Can you tell me more? We could try adjusting the dosage or switching to a different medication. We could also try taking the medication at a different time of day. Okay, those are all good suggestions. Thank you for your help. Not a problem. Remember to always consult with your doctor before making any changes to your medication regime. Absolutely, I'll do that. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have a good day. Hey B, did you hear about the new project we're working on? It's going to be a lot of fun to develop. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard we are going to be using Golang. Have you worked with it before? Yeah, I have used Golang before. It's a really powerful language that can handle a lot of data. That sounds promising. I'm excited to get started on this project. Do you have any tips for using Golang efficiently? Definitely. One of the things I always try to do when using Golang is to make sure my code is organized and optimized. That way it runs faster and easier to debug. That's great advice. I also heard that Golang has a lot of built-in features that make it easy to work with. Yeah, it definitely does. The standard library is really extensive and there are tons of resources to help you get started with Golang. I'm looking forward to learning more about it. Do you have any favorite projects that you have worked on using Golang? Actually, I recently worked on a project that processed a large amount of data and used Golang to handle it all. It was really challenging, but also really rewarding. That sounds really interesting. I can't wait to see what we come up with on this project. Do you have any ideas for what we should develop? Well, I was thinking we could create a program that analyzes user data and provides insights for improving user experience. That's a great idea. User data is always valuable and analyzing it to improve user experience is something that a lot of companies are working on. Exactly. And with Golang, we can process that data quickly and efficiently. Let's really dive into this project and make it amazing. Agreed. Let's go make some magic with Golang. We'll definitely have fun with this one. Good evening, welcome to our restaurant. What can I get for you tonight? Good evening, thank you for having me. I was hoping to try some of your finest wines tonight. Of course, we have an extensive wine list with many high-quality options. What type of wine would you prefer? I am partial to red wine. Do you have any recommendations? Our Chateau Margaux 2015 is a customer favorite and pairs perfectly with our filet mignon. Sounds delicious. I'll take a bottle of that. What about food? What dishes would you recommend? Our Coco Vin is a classic French dish that always gets great reviews, and our seafood linguine is also very popular. Hmm, I think I'll go with the Coco Vin. Could you also bring some baguette with butter and garlic for the table? Absolutely, I'll have our kitchen prepare that for you. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that should be all for now. I am excited to try the food and wine. Thank you for your help. It's our pleasure. Please enjoy your meal and let me know if you need anything else. Hi, I'd like to try my luck at blackjack. Can you teach me how to play? Sure thing. Have you played before? No, this is my first time. But I've always been curious about it. All right, let me explain the basics. The objective is to get as close to 21 points as possible without going over. We'll both be dealt two cards. Okay, I think I understand. Do I need to memorize the values of the cards? Not really, the numbered cards are worth their face value, the face cards, jack, queen, king, are all worth 10, and the ace can be worth 1 or 11. Got it. So what happens next? You can choose to hit and receive another card, or stand and keep your current total. We'll take turns until we either both stand, go over 21, or one of us gets blackjack, an ace plus a 10 value card. Alright, let's give it a go. Good luck. I'll deal the first cards. You have a 6 and I have a jack. Hmm, I think I'll hit. You got a 4, so you have a total of 10. Do you want to hit again? Yes, I think I'll take another card. It's a queen, so you have 20. Do you want to stand? Yes, I'll stand. Alright, it's my turn. I have a 5 and a 2, so I have 7. 
I'll hit and get a 9, making my total 16. I think I'll have to hit again. This is getting exciting. And I got another 9, making my total 25. Bust, which means you win. Woohoo. Thanks for teaching me how to play. I think I'm hooked now. Hi there, I just wanted to check in to see if everything is going well with the flights today. Hi, yes of course. Is everything going well with your journey so far? Absolutely. The flight attendants have been great and the service has been top-notch. That's great to hear. Would you like any refreshments or snacks during the flight? Yes, I think I'm in the mood for a nice cup of tea and maybe some peanuts. Sounds good, I'll be right back with your order. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Actually, yes. Do you happen to have any recommendations for things to do in the city when I arrive? Of course. If you're looking for some good food, you should definitely check out the local street markets. They have some amazing street food. And if you're into history, you should visit the famous museum that's located in the city center. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. And just to confirm, is everything up to your satisfaction so far with your flight experience? Yes, everything has been great. The seats are comfortable and the staff has been very helpful. That's wonderful to hear. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to the rest of my flight. Good morning, everyone. Let's start the class with a little game. Who can tell me what rhymes with cat? I know, I know. It's bet. Very good. Now, can you tell me something that starts with B and ends with OK? Hmm, this is a tough one. Cook, no, that doesn't start with a B. Oh, I got it. Book. Excellent. You're quite the wordsmith, aren't you? Now, who here loves to read? Me. Me. I can't get enough of books. That's fantastic. What's your favorite book? It's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I've read it more times than I can count. Ah, a fellow Potterhead. I love those books too. Do you know what Hogwarts house you'd be sorted into? I think I'd be in Gryffindor because I value bravery and courage. I like your thinking. But don't forget about the other houses, they all have their unique qualities. Speaking of which, did you know that there's a real-life Hogwarts in Poland? What? Really? Can we visit it someday? Absolutely. It's actually a castle called Zomek Zoka, and they offer tours and even have a Harry Potter-themed weekend. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to go there and live out my Hogwarts dreams. Well, that's all the time we have for now. See you next class, everyone. And remember, keep learning and having fun. Hello, B. How's the research plan coming along? Hi, Professor. I've been working on it, but I could use some advice. Sure, I'd love to help. What's the plan so far? Well, I'm thinking of studying the effects of music on plant growth. Interesting topic. Have you found any prior research on this topic? Yes, I've read some studies that suggest that music can affect plant growth and productivity. That's intriguing. What music genres are you planning on using? I'm planning to use classical, rock, and jazz music. Sounds like a good variety. Have you considered using any pop or hip-hop music? Not really, but that's a good point. Do you think it could have an impact on plant growth as well? It's possible. You never know until you try. I'll definitely consider adding those genres to the list. Great. Have you thought about your methodology? Yes, I'll be measuring the plant's growth rate and overall health in response to the different music genres. Sounds like a good plan. Don't forget to control other variables, such as light and temperature. Of course. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. Just remember to have fun with it too. Who knows, maybe your plants will become musical prodigies. Laughs, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome. Be looking forward to seeing your progress. Good morning, Chef B. Are you ready for today's challenge? Yes, Manager A. I am excited to create a luxurious Swiss menu for our customers. Great. Let's start with a classic Swiss cheese fondue as an appetizer. Sure, we can use Gruyere and Emmental cheese for a delicious combination. Sounds perfect. And for the main course, let's prepare some Swiss salmon with potato rosti and sautéed spinach. I know just the perfect seasoning for the salmon. And the potato rosti will be crispy and golden brown. Wonderful. Now, for dessert, let's create a heavenly Swiss chocolate fondant with a side of fresh berries. 
That will be a crowd pleaser for sure. I can already imagine the rich chocolate lava oozing out. Me too. With this menu, our customers will experience the best of Swiss cuisine. Let's get started. Yes, let's do it. But first, let me put on my apron and chef's hat. I don't want to get my clothes dirty in the kitchen. Laughs, good thinking, Chef B. Let's show everyone what Swiss culinary excellence is all about. Good morning, Professor B. How can I assist you today with our students' matters? Good morning, A. I was wondering if there are any upcoming events that I can participate in? Yes, we have the annual Sports Day event next month. It is a great opportunity for students to showcase their athletic abilities and also for professors to have a bit of fun. That's great. I'm looking forward to it. What other activities do you have planned for our students? We have a debate contest, music festival, and a charity fundraiser coming up. Our students are actively participating and taking the lead in organizing these events. Wow, our students are really involved in extracurricular activities. That's great to see. Yes, we encourage our students to not just focus on academics, but also to develop their soft skills and socialize with their peers. It contributes to their personal development and prepares them for the future. Absolutely. I'm glad to hear that. How can I support our students in these activities? You can volunteer as a judge or moderator, share your expertise with the students, or even participate in some of the activities yourself. It would be greatly appreciated. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Thank you for keeping me updated on our students' events, eh? Of course, Professor B. Let me know if you need any further assistance. Hi there. It's amazing to be here at the Tolero Cave System. I've heard so much about this place. Yes, it's a truly unique spot. The biodiversity, ecological system, and rock formations are remarkable. As a photographer, I feel so inspired by the natural beauty around us. Do you have any advice to capture the essence of the cave system in a photo? Absolutely. I think it's important to play with light and shadows to bring out the contours and texture of the rocks. Try to focus on a specific detail that catches your eye and build from there. I see what you mean. I'll keep that in mind. What's the most interesting thing you've discovered here in your ecological research? Well, recently I uncovered a new species of millipede living deeper in the cave system. It's always exciting to learn about new life forms within this complex ecosystem. Wow. That's incredible. You never know what's hiding right beneath your feet, do you? Exactly. That's why I love this work. You truly never know what you're going to discover. I can imagine. As a photographer, I love to capture unexpected moments. Absolutely, sometimes the best and most unique photos happen by chance. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. I completely agree. It's been such a pleasure speaking with you and learning more about this fascinating cave system. Likewise. I'm always happy to share my knowledge and passion for ecology with others. Hi there, I'm the front-end engineer at this travel company. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm the mobile app developer. Excited to work together. So, we're both involved in making a new cross-platform app. Do you have any ideas? Yes. What about a feature where users can filter their search results by location and date? That sounds great. We could also add a section for popular attractions and restaurants near the user's location. Right. And we could use GPS to track where they are, then automatically suggest interesting things to do nearby. Nice idea. But what if they don't have GPS turned on? No problem. We could ask them to manually enter their location or even use Wi-Fi to get an approximate position. Got it. Now, what about the design of the app? Any thoughts? I was thinking of something modern and colorful with nice icons and animations. Sounds perfect. And we could use a minimalist style for the search and filter options to make it easy to use. Yep, that's the idea. How about some special features that make our app stand out? HM, maybe a chatbot that can answer common travel questions or suggest personalized itineraries? Genius! We could also use augmented reality to let users see 3D models of landmarks and historical sites. Wow, that would be awesome. But we'll need some high-quality 3D models for that. Don't worry, I have some contacts who can help. So, when should we aim to launch the app? I'd say in about six months. Gives us enough time to test and optimize it. Okay, that's a tight deadline, but I'm up for the challenge. Do you need any help from me now? Actually, yes. Can you prepare a mock-up of the app's homepage with some of the features we've discussed? Sure thing. I'll get to work on it right away. Great. 
Let's schedule a follow-up meeting in two weeks to review the progress. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Hi there, enjoying the beautiful day at the park? Absolutely. It's nice to be outdoors and away from the screens for a bit. I couldn't agree more. Speaking of screens, have you noticed any changes in how children's mental health has been affected? Yes, I have. With the pandemic forcing children to spend more time at home and on devices, anxiety and depression seem to be more prevalent. That's definitely a concern. It's important for adults to help children develop coping skills and resilience. Absolutely. And in terms of education, I've seen a decrease in children's attention spans and ability to focus. That's interesting. It might be linked to the same issue of excess screen time. Perhaps we can encourage more hands-on activities to help strengthen their attention. I think that's a great idea. Kids tend to learn better when they are physically engaged in the learning process. Exactly. It's also important to provide a safe and inclusive environment where children feel comfortable expressing themselves. Yes, that's why it's important for educators to be aware of their biases and listen to their students with empathy and understanding. Absolutely. It's important to foster a sense of belonging and respect for diversity in young children. And by doing so, we can help create a healthier and happier community for everyone. I couldn't agree more. Well, it's been great chatting with you today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You too. Keep up the great work. Good morning, B. It's such a beautiful day here in Bordeaux. Good morning, A. Yes, the sun is shining and the grapes are looking fantastic. Speaking of grapes, have you thought about pairing your wines with some of our delicious cheeses? Absolutely. I think our Cabernet pairs perfectly with your creamy brie. And your Sauvignon Blanc would be excellent with some tangy goat cheese. I couldn't agree more. I'm glad we can offer our customers a complete wine and cheese experience. It's great to have such good partners. How has the harvest been so far? It's been a bit challenging with the weather, but thankfully we have a great team working hard to ensure the quality of the grapes. That's good to hear. I hope we can continue to work together for many more years, producing amazing wines and cheeses. Me too. Your cheeses are always a hit at our tastings, and we appreciate the care and attention you put into your products. Thank you, B. It's always a pleasure to share our passion for cheese with wine lovers like yourself. And it's always a pleasure to enjoy your delicious products. Cheers to a successful partnership. Cheers to that, B. Let's raise a glass to another great year of working together. Hey B, how's it going? Have you given any thought to our goal of achieving comprehensive testing coverage? Hey A, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Yeah, I've been brainstorming some ideas on how to accomplish that. Great, can you share some of those ideas with me? Sure, one idea I had was to increase our unit testing efforts. This would ensure that each individual component of the software is thoroughly tested. That's a good idea, but what about integration testing? We should also make sure that all the different components work well together. Absolutely, integration testing is definitely important. Another idea is to leverage automation tools to increase the speed and accuracy of our testing efforts. I agree, automation can help us achieve the desired coverage more efficiently. But we also need to keep in mind the human touch and conduct exploratory testing. Of course, exploratory testing can help us uncover unexpected bugs and ensure that the software is user-friendly. We should also prioritize testing for critical and high-risk areas. Definitely, those areas require more attention and thorough testing. How can we ensure that our testing efforts are documented and organized? We should use a testing management system and establish clear testing procedures and guidelines. This will help us keep track of all the tests and their results. Good point. Having a structured approach can improve our testing efficiency and effectiveness. Anything else you want to add? One more thing, we need to ensure that our testing efforts are reviewed and validated by people outside of the testing team, such as developers or business analysts. That's a great suggestion. Their feedback can help us uncover any blind spots and ensure that we are testing the right things. Thanks for the suggestions, B. Let's get started on implementing them. Absolutely. Let's deliver the best quality software possible. Hi there. How's your day going? Oh, hey, not too bad. Just getting ready to drive you to the Big Apple. I'm excited for the trip. Any tips for a first-time visitor to New York? Lots of stuff to see and do, but I suggest checking out Central Park. It's a must-see and a great place to relax. Thanks for the suggestion. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I saw the new James Bond movie. Great action scenes, but a bit over the top if you ask me. I'm more into romantic comedies. 
Any recommendations? Hmm, well my girlfriend really liked Crazy Rich Asians. You might like that one. Thanks, I'll definitely check it out. So, how long have you been driving taxis? Oh, about 10 years now. I've seen a lot of interesting things during that time, that's for sure. Any crazy stories? Oh man, where do I even start? I've had a dog jump in my cab, someone propose in my back seat, and even had a celebrity as a passenger once. That's amazing. Who was the celebrity? Sorry, can't disclose that. It's confidential. But I will tell you, they were very down-to-earth and friendly. Sounds intriguing. Well, we're almost there. Thanks for the ride and for the great conversation. No problem at all. Hope you enjoy your time in the city that never sleeps. Good evening, Chef B. How was your day today? Did you learn anything new? Hi, Boss A. Yes, it was a great day. I learned how to make Hakata-style ramen and grilled mackerel. That sounds amazing. Tell me more about the grilled mackerel. How did you prepare it? First, I marinated the mackerel in a mixture of soy sauce and marin. Then, I grilled it over high heat for a few minutes on each side until it had a crispy crust. Wow, I bet it was delicious. Hakata-style ramen is one of my favorites. Did you enjoy making it? Absolutely. The broth was so flavorful, and I learned how to make the perfect chewy noodles. Speaking of noodles, have you tried any of the local specialties? I hear they have a famous dish called Manteco Spaghetti. Yes, I tried it for lunch today. It was surprisingly delicious. The spicy cod roll really gave it a kick. That sounds adventurous. I might have to try it myself. What else do you have planned for the week? Tomorrow, we're going to learn how to make the famous Hakata-style hot pot. And on Thursday, we'll be visiting a local fish market to select our own fish for grilling. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm excited to see the new dishes you'll bring back to our restaurant. Keep up the great work, Chef B. Excuse me, I ordered some bread and it's burnt to a crisp. Can I get a fresh one? Of course, sir. I'm so sorry about that. We'll have a new one brought out right away. Thank you, I appreciate it. I was really looking forward to trying your bread. I completely understand. Our bread is usually a customer favorite, and we want everyone to have the best experience possible. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that's all for now. But may I ask, do you have any recommendations for the main course? Absolutely. Our most popular dish is the grilled salmon with green beans and roasted potatoes. It's a personal favorite of mine as well. Hmm, that sounds really good. I think I'll go with that. And could I also get a glass of the house white wine? Excellent choice. I'll get that started for you right away. Is there anything else I can get for you, sir? No, that's it for now. Thank you for taking care of the burnt bread situation so quickly. No problem at all, sir. Our goal is always to make sure every customer enjoys their meal. I hope you have a great experience here. Hi there, I'm looking for a stylish overcoat for the winter season. Do you have any recommendations? Of course. We just got in some fantastic overcoats from Paris Fashion Week. They are absolutely stunning. Really? What makes these overcoats so special? Well, for starters, they are made with the finest wool and cashmere blend. Plus, the design is both classic and modern, making it versatile for any occasion. That sounds perfect. Can I see one up close? Absolutely. Here's one I'd like to highlight. It's a gorgeous black overcoat with a slight sheen. Running her fingers over the fabric, wow, it feels so soft and luxurious. Yes, this particular overcoat is a favorite of mine. It's perfect for dressing up or down, and the fit is super flattering. I can imagine. How much does it cost? It's currently on sale for $750, originally priced at $1,000. Hmm, that's a bit of a splurge for me. Do you have any others that are more budget-friendly? Absolutely. We have a wide range of overcoats, from casual to formal, and with different price points. Let me show you some other options. Thank you, you've been very helpful. I'll definitely keep this one in mind though. It's hard to resist such a stunning piece. My pleasure. It's always exciting to introduce our customers to new and stylish products. Let me know if you need any further assistance or have any questions. Hey B, how's it going? Have you given any thought to how we can design a faster and more reliable website front end? Hey there A, I'm doing well. I've been thinking about website performance optimization quite a bit lately. Why, do you have any ideas? 
Yes, I was thinking we could implement image compression and minification of JavaScript and CSS files to improve page load times. That's a great idea, eh? We could also consider utilizing a content delivery network to reduce server latency for global users. Definitely. And perhaps we could even use lazy loading for images and videos to further improve page speed. I have one more idea too, implementing a server-side rendering framework to pre-render the HTML and CSS for faster initial load times. Wow, those are all excellent suggestions. By the way, did you watch the game last night? Yeah, I did. It was such a close match, I thought it was going to be a tie. Right? And did you see that amazing save by the goaltender in the last few minutes of the game? Yes, that was epic. He really pulled through for his team when they needed him the most. Definitely. It's always so exciting to watch high-pressure games like that, just like how it's exciting to optimize a website and see the positive results. Absolutely. Speaking of which, once we implement these optimizations, we should measure the performance with Google Lighthouse and see how much we have improved. That's a great suggestion, B. Let's continue discussing this later and make a plan of action for our website optimization. Sounds good, A. Hey. Let's do it. Hey B, what game are you playing on your Spock Series X? Hey A, I'm currently playing the new season of Fortnite. What about you? I'm playing Call of Duty, Cold War, it's my favorite. Oh, I've played that one too. It's pretty cool with the espionage setting. Yes, I love the plot twists and the suspense. I also enjoy the graphics. The graphics are amazing. Have you seen how realistic the characters and the settings are? Yes, it's like you're actually in the game. I sometimes forget I'm on my couch. Same here. Have you tried the new multiplayer maps? Not yet, but I'm planning to. My friends have been telling me it's a blast. You should definitely give it a shot. We could even play together sometime. That sounds awesome. We can show the other players who the real pros are. Ha ha, that's right. We'll be a force to reckon with. I can't wait. This is why I love playing video games. It's such a great way to connect with others. Agreed, and it's also a fun way to escape reality for a while. Absolutely. Well, I better get back to my game. All right, catch you later, eh? Bye, B. Hey there, looks like you're enjoying the fruit picking. What brings you to our farm? Hi. Yeah, I'm on my summer vacation and thought it would be fun to try something new. Your farm is beautiful. Thank you. We take great pride in growing the best produce in the region. Have you tried any of our juicy peaches yet? Oh yes, they are absolutely delicious. I've never had peaches this fresh before. That's great to hear. You know, it's not just peaches that we produce here. We have different varieties of fruits like apricots, apples, and even grapes. Wow. That's amazing. I'd love to taste some of them. Well, why don't you take a basket and pick some yourself? It's a great way to get some exercise, and you get to taste the freshest fruits too. That sounds like a great idea. But I'm not sure if I know how to pick them properly. No worries, I'll show you how it's done. First, you need to look for the ripe ones. They should be soft to touch and have a sweet fragrance. Okay, got it. This one looks good. Nice pick. Now, you gently twist and pull the fruit off the stem. Be careful not to damage the tree though. All right. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Excellent job. You're a natural at this. That one's perfect for snacking. Thank you so much for your help. This is such a fun experience. It's great having enthusiastic and curious people like you visit our farm. Makes our hard work all worth it. I can imagine. It's been delightful to learn about the farming process and appreciate the fruits of your labor. It's been a pleasure having you here. If you ever come back, don't forget to say hi. I definitely will. Thank you again and have a great day. You too. Safe travels. Hey B, have you ever thought about designing a compact car as a computer game object? Yeah, it's definitely doable. We can use object-oriented design to create a blueprint of the car and then visualize it as a 3D model. That sounds cool. But how would you incorporate the car's features, like horsepower and torque, into the game? Well, we can use properties and methods to define the car's attributes and behavior. For example, we can create a drive method that calculates the car's speed based on its horsepower and torque. I see. And what about the car's physical appearance? We can create textures and materials for the car's body and interior and use different camera angles to showcase its design. Nice. 
What kind of challenges do you think we might face in the design process? One challenge could be balancing realism with gameplay. We want the car to behave realistically, but we also want it to be fun and engaging to drive. Yeah, that makes sense. What about multiplayer options? We can definitely include multiplayer modes where players can race and customize their cars. We could also set up leaderboards to keep track of high scores and lap times. Sweet. I would totally play a game like that. Thanks for sharing your ideas, B. Anytime, A. It's always fun to talk about game development. Hi there, B. How are you feeling today? Hey, A. I'm doing well. Excited to shoot some scenes today. That's great to hear. Let's get started with some wide shots first. Sure thing. Where should I stand for this shot? Right over there, in front of the fountain. The lighting is perfect at this time of day. Got it. Should I move around or stay in one spot? Move around a bit, interact with the environment. We want it to feel natural. Sounds good. By the way, have you seen the new restaurant down the street? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's really trendy and the food is amazing. We should all check it out together sometime. That sounds like a plan. Let's focus on this shot for now though. Of course, sorry about that. Ready for take one. Action. Great job, B. Let's do a close-up next. Thanks, A. I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's get the camera closer to your face. Can you show more emotion in this scene? Absolutely. I'll make sure to convey the intensity of the moment. Perfect. And, action. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, let's take a break before we move on to the next scene. Sounds good to me. Want to grab some coffee before we get back to shooting? Yes, please. That new cafe near the restaurant you were talking about sounds great. Hi there, I'm looking for something that will make me look taller and slimmer. Can you help me out? Of course. We have a great selection of clothing that will flatter any body type. What kind of style are you thinking of? I like a classic look, but I'm open to something more trendy. What do you suggest? Well, we have a lot of great blazers that will accentuate your shoulders and elongate your frame. They're very classic and professional looking, but you can also dress them down with a pair of jeans. That sounds perfect. Do you have any in a neutral color? Yes, we have a navy blue one that I think would look great on you. Let me grab it for you to try on. Wow, this really does make me look taller. What else do you have that would work? We also have a great selection of high-waisted pants that will lengthen your legs. Here, try on these black ones. These are amazing. I never knew clothes could make such a difference. Thank you so much for your help. It's my pleasure. It's always great to see a customer feel confident in their clothing. Do you need anything else? Actually, I do need a dress for a wedding next month. Any suggestions? Absolutely. We have a lot of great options that will flatter your figure. Let me show you some of our favorites. Hey, have you ever tried empanadas de carne? Empanadas de quay? De carne, you know, a Latin American meat-filled pastry. Ah, uh, gotcha. No, I've never tried them. What's in it? It's usually filled with ground beef, onions, garlic, and other spices, but the best part is the pastry dough. It's crispy, flaky, and delicious. That sounds amazing. Do you have a favorite place to get them? Yes. There's this little hole-in-the-wall restaurant downtown that sells the best empanadas de carne. You have to try them. I'm definitely down to try them. Are they spicy? Not really, but you can add hot sauce if you want. They're perfect to eat with friends while watching a game or just as a snack. I'm sold. Let's go grab some after work. Great idea. I can already taste the deliciousness. Same here. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Let's make sure we get there early. They tend to sell out quickly. Don't worry, I'll make sure to save some for you. You're the best. Can't wait for empanada time. Hey B, have you heard about ISO 27001 Security Controls Implementation? Yeah, I've heard of it. It's a standard for information security, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to implement it in our company, but I'm having a hard time with the security controls. What's the problem? I'm having trouble understanding which controls are mandatory and which ones are recommended. I feel you. I was in the same boat when I tried to implement it in my last company. So, how did you figure it out? I just used common sense. 
If the control makes sense for our company and helps us protect our information, then we implement it. That's a good point. I'm just worried about compliance, you know? Yeah, but as long as you have a good reason for not implementing a certain control, you should be fine. That's true. Do you have any tips for implementing the controls? Yeah, start with the high-priority ones and work your way down. It's easier to tackle the big ones first and then move on to the less critical ones. That makes sense. Are there any controls you recommend we implement first? I would start with access control and then move on to communication security. Those are both critical controls. Okay, thanks for the advice. Do you know of any good resources for learning about ISO 27001? Yeah, there are some great online courses and books out there. I can send you some links if you want. That would be awesome. Thanks, B. No problem, A. Always happy to help a fellow security geek out. Hi there, B. It's great to meet you here at this medical research facility. Yes, it's nice to meet you too, A. What brings you here today? I'm here to discuss how we can leverage machine learning to predict the risk of disease occurrence. That sounds interesting. What kind of data are you working with? We have patients' medical history and current health parameters, such as age, BMI, blood pressure, and cholesterol level. All right, so what machine learning algorithm are you planning to use? We are looking at applying the logistic regression algorithm initially, but we may explore other algorithms if needed. Logistic regression is a good choice. By the way, have you thought about incorporating any feature selection techniques? Yes, we are considering using the recursive feature elimination algorithm to identify the most critical features for predicting disease risk. That's a smart approach. Do you have a specific disease in mind? Right now, we are focusing on predicting the risk of developing heart disease. That's a significant problem in healthcare. I'm excited to be a part of this project. Same here, B. We can collaborate to come up with an algorithm that's not only accurate, but also efficient. Agreed. I think we should also assess our model's performance using cross-validation techniques. Definitely. Let's also make sure we are interpreting the results accurately and not overfitting the model. Yes, that's crucial. We need to ensure that our model is generalizable and reliable. Great point, B. This project has the potential to improve patient outcomes and advance medical research. Absolutely. By predicting the risk of developing heart disease, we can take preventive measures and provide better care for patients. I couldn't agree more. Let's work together to make this project successful. Sounds good, A. Let's get to work. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine, thank you. How about you? I'm a little nervous. This is my first time in Bangkok. Don't worry, I've been driving taxis in Bangkok for over 10 years. You're in good hands. That's reassuring. So, have you always lived in Bangkok? Yes, born and raised. What about you? Where are you from? I'm from Tokyo, Japan. I came here for a vacation. Oh wow, that's interesting. What made you choose Bangkok? I've heard so many good things about the city, the food, and the nightlife. You'll definitely love the food here. Do you like spicy food? I do, but I'm not used to it being so hot. How much spiciness should I expect? Thai food can be really spicy, but it's always best to ask them to make it mild. You can always add spice later. Good to know. What do you like to do for fun in Bangkok? I love trying out new food places and hanging out with friends. Oh, and visiting the night markets is always a must. That sounds like fun. I hope I can check out some of those places. Definitely. Have you made any plans for where you want to go? I've heard that the Grand Palace is a must-see, and I want to ride a tuk-tuk. The Grand Palace is beautiful, and tuk-tuk rides are a fun experience. Just make sure to agree on a price before getting in. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tips. No problem. We're almost there. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. Thank you for the great conversation and the safe ride. My pleasure. Have a great time in Bangkok. Hey there, B. Great job with yesterday's scene. You brought real emotion to the character. Thanks, A. It's always a pleasure to work with you. Speaking of emotions, have you seen the latest rom-com that's out? Not yet. Tell me more. Is it any good? It's hilarious. The lead actors have great chemistry and the story is so sweet. I even shed a tear at the end. You know what they say, if it makes you cry, it's a good movie. Maybe we should watch it together. Definitely. 
It'll be a nice change of pace from all the intense scenes we've been filming. Agreed. Hey, did you hear about the prank that the crew played on Jenny yesterday? No, what happened? Well, they all pretended to lose their memory and kept asking her the same question over and over. Poor Jenny was so confused. Laughing, that's hilarious. I almost wish I was there to see it. Chuckles, yeah, it was hard not to crack up when they got to me with the prank. Speaking of things that are hard to control, I heard you thinking of getting a dog. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while. Do you have any advice? Definitely. You have to make sure you have the time and energy to give it proper attention. But once you do, they bring so much love and joy to your life. That sounds great. Maybe I'll take you up on your offer to puppy sit. Smiling, anytime, eh, anytime. Hey there, B. What's up with our bread situation today? All good, eh? We've got freshly baked bread ready for the grill. Excellent, just what I wanted to hear. Did you try marinating the chicken with that new sauce we got in stock? Sure did. It's deliciously tangy. I'm excited for our customers to try it. Great to hear that, B. I bet we're going to have a lot of satisfied customers today. With the smell of these skewers grilling, I'm sure we will. What about the fish we're serving? We've got some juicy kingfish ready to go. Can't wait to taste them myself. Sounds like a great pairing for our freshly baked herb bread. Should we serve it with a side of garlic butter? You know me well, B. Garlic butter goes with everything. Hey, have you seen the kids playing frisbee over there? Yeah, it's lovely to see people out and about enjoying the park. Makes me happy to be serving up tasty food to fuel their energy. Absolutely. We're making a great team here, B. High five? High fives, let's keep those skewers sizzling and those bread slices toasting. You betcha. And don't forget the cool drinks to go with all that hot food. Everyone will leave satisfied, happy and full. That's what we're aiming for. That's the spirit, B. Let's get ready for another busy day. Hi there, have you tried the creme brulee here before? Yes, I have. It's one of my favorites. How about you? It's my first time trying it. What can you say about the taste? Well, the custard is velvety and creamy, and the burnt sugar on top is perfectly caramelized. It's heavenly. I have to say, it looks amazing. Takes a bite, oh my, it's silky smooth and sweet, and the slight crunch from the caramel topping adds so much depth to the flavor. Yes, it's the ultimate dessert indulgence. I could have it every day. It's hard to get the right balance of texture, sweetness, and creaminess, but they definitely nailed it. The creme brulee here is definitely one of the best I've had. You can never be disappointed with it. I think I found a new favorite dessert. It's so delicious, I don't want to share. Ha ha. I know what you mean. It's so good that it's hard to resist. I feel like I just experienced food heaven. This is truly a dessert masterpiece. Yes, it's worth coming back for again and again. What a treat for our taste buds. Hey, have you heard about the ISO 27001 security objective? Yeah, I have. It's about ensuring information security, right? Exactly. The objective is to protect sensitive information from unauthorized access, use, modification, or destruction. Sounds serious. But why do they have to make it so technical? Haha, <laughs> I know, right? It's like they're trying to confuse us. But don't worry, it's not that complicated. Okay, so what are the steps we need to take to meet the ISO 27001 requirements? Well, first we need to develop a risk management process and identify all the possible threats to our information. And then? After that, we need to establish security controls to address those threats. Hmm, interesting. And why is it important to follow these standards? Well, for one, it helps us minimize our security risks and protect our data from cyber attacks. It also enhances our credibility with our customers and partners. Wow, I never realized how important it is to have a solid information security system in place. Yeah, it's definitely something we shouldn't take lightly. But don't worry, we got this. Hey Captain B, what's good today? The weather seems perfect for fishing today, don't you think so? Absolutely, I'm hoping we catch some big ones today. We'll certainly give it our best shot. Have you ever caught a shark before? No, but it's definitely on my bucket list. Have you ever caught one? Yeah, quite a few in my lifetime. They put up a good fight, that's for sure. That sounds exciting. Do you have any tips for catching a big fish? Patience is key. It takes some time, but the thrill of the catch is worth it. I totally agree. 
What kind of fish do you think we'll catch today? Hard to say, but probably some tuna or marlin. Maybe we'll even get lucky and catch a swordfish. Wow, that would be amazing. Yeah, it would. But even if we don't catch the biggest fish, I think we'll still have a great time out here on the water. Absolutely. The calm of the ocean and the sound of the waves is enough to make it a memorable experience. Exactly. That's what makes this job so satisfying the happiness of our customers and the passion we share for fishing. Well said, Captain. Let's hope for the best and real in some big ones today. Wow, this art museum in Kobe is breathtaking. I'm so glad we came here. Yes, it's one of the must-see attractions for art enthusiasts in the area. Speaking of which, did you know that Kobe has a rich history of supporting the local art scene? Really? I didn't know that. Could you tell me more about it? Sure. Kobe has been a hub for international trade since the Meiji period, which brought in a lot of foreign influences and sparked a cultural renaissance. This led to the opening of several art schools and galleries in the city, which in turn attracted many local artists. That's fascinating. Do you know if any famous artists came from Kobe? Oh, definitely. There are quite a few renowned artists who were born and raised here, like Tsugaru Fujita and Shinoda Toko. In fact, the museum we're in right now features some of their works. That's amazing. I love Fujita's art. His style is so unique. Agreed. And speaking of unique styles, have you seen these contemporary art installations? They're so creative and thought-provoking. Yes, they're definitely pushing the boundaries of traditional art. It's cool to see such innovation and experimentation. Absolutely. The art scene in Kobe continues to thrive and evolve, and it's exciting to witness the progression firsthand. I'm definitely going to look into more local artists and galleries in the area. Thanks for sharing all of this information with me. No problem at all. I always love sharing my knowledge of the city's rich cultural history. Let's continue exploring the museum and appreciate all the beautiful art on display. Hello there. I'm the Swiss cheese merchant. I brought some of our finest cheeses for your cheese fondue recipe. Hi. That's great. I'm the chef in charge of preparing the cheese fondue. Let's get started. Sure thing. Which of our cheeses did you have in mind? Let's try a mix of Gruyere and Emmental. That should give the fondue a nice balance of flavors. Good choice. And let's not forget to add a splash of local Swiss wine to really enhance the taste. Absolutely. I think a chasselas would be perfect for this dish. The chasselas pairs well with most types of cheese, so that's a great choice. Would you like me to grate the cheese? Yes, please. I've got the pot warming up on the stove as we speak. Wonderful. You know, cheese fondue is a traditional Swiss dish that goes back centuries. It's often served with bread, but some people also enjoy dipping vegetables or even meat into it. That's interesting to know. I plan to serve it with a mix of bread, roasted potatoes, and veggies. It'll be a comforting and satisfying meal for the cold winter days. I couldn't agree more. There's nothing like gathering around a pot of hot, melted cheese on a chilly evening. I'm excited to see how our collaboration turns out. What other local ingredients do you recommend for pairing with our cheese fondue? Well, besides the wine and cheese, I'd suggest using garlic, black pepper, and nutmeg. These spices will add a little bit of kick to the fondue. Sounds fantastic. Let's get to work, and thank you for providing such quality ingredients. It's always a pleasure. Enjoy your cooking, chef. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I'm the Information Security Engineer, A. Hi, I'm B, the Network Security Specialist. It's great to meet you too. So, how do you think our company can prevent DDoS attacks? Well, DDoS attacks can be quite challenging to prevent, but implementing a good defense mechanism can help. Yes, I agree. We can start by having monitoring tools in place to detect any suspicious traffic patterns. That's a great idea. We can also limit the number of requests coming in from a single IP address. Absolutely, and ensuring that all our servers are maintained properly with updated security patches also goes a long way. Yes, we should also have a backup plan in case of an attack. Keeping our critical systems backed up regularly gives us a better chance of recovery. Excellent. Another approach we could take is using a web application firewall to filter out malicious traffic. Yes, and having a content delivery network, CDN, in place can help distribute traffic across multiple servers and reduce the impact of the attack. Looks like we have a good strategy in place. Definitely. Our company will now be able to better defend against DDoS attacks. You're right. Thanks for the great discussion and helpful suggestions, B. Anytime, A. We're a great team. Hi there. 
I'm so excited to finally meet you in person. I've been following your YouTube channel for ages. Wow, thank you so much, Hey, It's great to put a face to the name. So, what are you feeling like having for lunch? Hmm, how about some Chinese cuisine? I've heard this restaurant has some amazing dumplings. Sounds great to me. So, what do you blog about? Ah, uh, I cover a bit of everything, really. From food and travel to lifestyle and fashion. What about your YouTube channel? I mostly focus on vlogging about my daily life and sharing my experiences with my audience. It's a lot of fun. I bet it is. I love the creativity involved in creating content. Do you find it difficult to come up with new ideas? Sometimes, but it helps to have a supportive audience that provides feedback and suggestions. Absolutely. Speaking of audience, have you ever had any crazy fan encounters? Laughs, yes, actually. One time, someone recognized me while I was grocery shopping and asked me to take a selfie with them. It was definitely unexpected. Laughs, that's hilarious. I'm sure you get recognized a lot. It happens every now and then, but I try to stay grounded and not let it get to my head. That's a good attitude to have. What about your future plans for your channel? I'd love to collaborate with other content creators and experiment with different types of videos. How about you? I'm looking to expand my reach and possibly even turn my blog into a full-time job. It's definitely a dream of mine. That's amazing, hey. I wish you all the best with that. So, are you ready to order some food? Absolutely. Let's get those dumplings. Hey B, how's it going tonight? It's pretty busy, but I'm keeping up. How about you? Same here. I've been mixing drinks left and right. What's the most popular drink tonight? Definitely, the margarita. It seems like everyone wants one. I'm glad we're in Texas, where margaritas are practically a staple. No kidding. Have you tried our new jalapeno margarita? Not yet. Is it spicy? Just a little kick. Want me to make you one? Sure, why not? MMM, that's really good. You have to teach me how to make it. It's easy. I'll show you after we close up. Thanks. So, have you heard any good jokes lately? Not really, but I did see a biker walk into a bar yesterday with a parrot on his shoulder. Really? What happened next? The bartender said, Well, that's cool. Where did you get him? And the parrot said, In Mexico. There's lots of them down there. Speaking of Mexico, have you ever been there? No, but I've always wanted to go. Especially to try authentic tacos. Oh man, you have to go. I went last summer and the food was amazing. Any recommendations? Definitely try the street tacos. The ones with Al Pastor are my all-time favorite. Sounds delicious. I'll have to add that to my travel bucket list. Last call, folks. Well, that's our cue to start cleaning up. Yep. Let's make it quick so we can go get some tacos ourselves. Deal. Thanks for working with me tonight, eh? Anytime, B. You were awesome as always. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm excited to be here today. Hi, welcome. We're excited to have you. Let's get started. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and experience? Sure, I recently graduated from university with a degree in business and have been working in sales for the past year. I'm really interested in this business development role and feel like my skills are a good match. Great, that sounds like a good start. Can you tell me more about your experience in sales? Of course, I've been working for a software company selling enterprise solutions to businesses. I have experience with lead generation, customer relationship management, and closing deals. That's all really relevant experience. Can you tell me more about your knowledge of the software industry and specifically, our company? Yes, I've been following the software industry closely and have been researching your company in particular. I'm impressed with your track record of innovation and growth. Excellent, that's good to hear. We're looking for someone who can hit the ground running. How do you think you would approach the business development role at our company? I would start by researching potential clients and building relationships with key decision makers. I believe my sales background would be incredibly valuable in identifying opportunities and closing deals. It sounds like you have a good understanding of what the role entails. Lastly, can you confirm that you have the relevant qualifications and academic background for this role? Absolutely, I have a degree in business and have taken courses in marketing, strategy, and finance. I'm confident that I have the necessary academic qualifications to excel in this role. It's been really great speaking with you today. 
We'll be in touch soon regarding next steps. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I'm really excited about the opportunity to join your team. Hi. I heard you're interested in learning Windows Server. I'm happy to help. Yes, I am. But I'm not sure where to start. Well, first you need to understand the basics of networking and Windows operating systems. Got it. What resources do you recommend? Microsoft offers some great courses and tutorials, including the Microsoft Virtual Academy. That sounds helpful. Is it free? Yes, it is. And there are also plenty of informative blogs and YouTube videos out there. Awesome. What kind of skills should I focus on for Windows Server? Well, you should master Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, and Group Policy, among other things. Whoa, that sounds like a lot. Is it difficult? It can be a challenge at first, but with practice and patience, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else I should know? Just remember to stay organized and keep up with updates and security patches. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Thank you so much for the advice, eh? I feel more confident about learning Windows Server now. You're welcome, B. Good luck with your studies. Hi there. How's everything going with the drinks tonight, B? Hey, A. It's been busy, but I'm loving it. People seem to be really enjoying our new cocktail menu. That's great to hear. I've noticed a lot of good reviews on social media lately. What's been the most popular drink so far? The Frakanong Sunset has been a hit. It's made with fresh mango juice, tequila, and a dash of ginger syrup. Oh, I'll have to try that one for myself. And how about the small plates? Any standout dishes? Definitely the pork belly bao buns. We've had people ordering multiple rounds of those. Yum, those are a personal favorite of mine too. So, speaking of new things, have you been thinking of any other drinks we could add to the menu? Actually, I was playing around with a blueberry and lavender syrup. I was thinking maybe we could pair it with some gin and Prosecco. Sounds intriguing. Let's test it out tomorrow during happy hour and see what our customers think. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and by the way, have you seen the new bartender that just started working next door? No, I haven't yet. Any good? Yeah, she seems really talented. And she suggested we do a joint promotion next week to bring in more business. That's a great idea. I'll go talk to her tomorrow and we can start planning it out. Awesome, I'm excited to see what we come up with. Me too. Thanks for all your hard work, B. Let's make this bar and restaurant the talk of the town. Hey there, are you ready for your first surf lesson? Yes, I'm excited but also a little nervous. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Let's start with some basic stretches to get warmed up. Okay, that sounds good. All right, now let's get you on the board. Remember to keep your chest up and gaze forward. Got it. This is harder than I thought. It takes some practice, but you'll get the hang of it. With a little determination and balance, you'll be surfing in no time. I hope so. I've always wanted to try it. That's the spirit. Now, let's paddle out and catch some waves. Wait, what about sharks? Don't worry, we're in the shark-free zone. Plus, they're more afraid of us than we are of them. Okay, let's do this. Great job. See how you rode that wave all the way in? You're a natural. Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to do it again. I knew you'd love it. Surfing is addicting, and before you know it, you'll be a pro. Thanks for being such a great teacher. I couldn't have asked for a better first lesson. No problem. Let's catch a few more waves before the lesson is over. Who knows, you might just become the next surfing champion. Good morning. How's your day going? Good morning. It's going great. Thanks for asking. How about yours? Can't complain. Just trying to figure out ways to improve the yield of our crops. Ah, uh, interesting challenge. Have you considered looking at the data on consumer demand for certain crops? Honestly, I'm not too familiar with that kind of analysis. How would that help us? Well, if we know which crops are in higher demand, we can adjust our production accordingly and potentially increase our profits. Hmm, that does sound like a good idea. But where can we find that kind of information? There are plenty of websites and market research firms dedicated to tracking consumer trends. We can start there and see what we can find. All right, that sounds like a plan. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. It's always good to explore new ways to improve our farming practices. 
Speaking of which, have you ever tried using any new technologies or techniques on your crops? Actually, yes. We've been experimenting with hydroponic farming methods and so far the results have been promising. Really? That's awesome. I've always been curious about that method. It's definitely worth trying out. Plus, there's a lot of room for innovation and creativity in that field. That's true. I guess there's always something new to learn in the world of agriculture. Absolutely. It's a constantly evolving industry and we need to be adaptable to keep up with the changes. Well, thanks for the chat. It's been really enlightening. Likewise. Let's keep bouncing ideas off each other and see where it takes us. Sounds like a plan. Take care. You too. Cheers. Hi there. What can I do for you today? I am interested in having a brochure designed for my company. Great. Brochures are excellent tools for showcasing your business. What kind of information do you want to include in your brochure? We want to promote our new product line and include pictures of the items. That sounds like a great idea. Do you have any specific colors or design elements in mind for the brochure? I was thinking of using our company colors, blue and green, but I am open to suggestions. I have a few ideas in mind. Would you like me to sketch some concepts for you? That would be fantastic. We want something eye-catching and unique. I understand. Let me get to work on some design concepts, and I will email them to you within a few days. Thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. We have a tight deadline for the brochure. No problem at all. I love working under pressure. Just give me all the details, and we'll have this project done in no time. I appreciate your enthusiasm and professionalism. I am excited to see what you come up with. It's my pleasure, B. I'll make sure you have a brochure that you're proud to share with your clients. Thank you, A. I'm glad I came to your design studio. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a software engineer, and I'm here to discuss the integration of online and offline retail channels for your company. Hi there, great to have you on board. As an IT manager, I'm excited to hear your thoughts on how we can make this happen. Well, the goal is to create a seamless shopping experience for customers, where they can browse products and make purchases both online and in-store. That sounds promising. What kind of features would you suggest to make that happen? For starters, we could implement a mobile app that allows customers to locate products in-store and make purchases online, using their loyalty rewards. That's a great idea. We could also use data analytics to track customer behavior and preferences and tailor customized promotions based on their shopping history. Absolutely. And to make it even more convenient, we could offer in-store pickup options for online purchases or allow customers to make returns both online and in-store. I'm all for that. We could even incorporate virtual reality technology to allow customers to visualize how products would look in their homes before purchasing. That's a cutting-edge idea. Let's also not forget about the importance of security and privacy measures to ensure that our customers can feel safe when making online purchases. Definitely. We must prioritize the protection of our customers' personal and financial information. This sounds like a solid plan. Let's work on it together. I couldn't agree more. With a well-designed application and features that cater to customers' needs, the integration of online and offline retail can truly elevate your company's brand and profitability. I'm excited to see this project come to fruition. Thanks for your insight. I'm looking forward to collaborating with you. Hi B, did you bring your camera for the coverage? Of course, I always carry it with me. What's the plan for the day? We're going to cover the grand opening of a new pet store downtown. We'll interview the owners and get some shots of the cute animals. Sounds like a fun assignment. What time do we need to be there? The opening ceremony starts at 10 a.m., so we need to arrive there by 9.30 a.m. to set up. Got it. By the way, did you bring any snacks for us? Yes, I brought some energy bars and water bottles. We can have a break once we've finished the interviews. Perfect. I'll make sure to capture some good shots of the pets for your article. Thanks, I'm looking forward to seeing your photos. Do you own any pets? Yes, I have a sassy cat named Whiskers. He's always causing trouble, but I love him anyway. What about you? I have a small dog named Max. He's a loyal companion and always excited to go on walks. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to meeting the cute animals at the store too. Let's get going. Hey B, how's it going? I heard you're the network security expert here. Hey A. Yes, I like to think so. What brings you over to my cubicle? Well, I'm working on a project to enhance security for our financial transactions. Since you're the authority on all things security, can you lend me a hand? 
Of course, I'd be happy to help. What have you come up with so far? We're looking into implementing a two-factor authentication system. Do you think that'll be effective? It's definitely a good start, but it's not a foolproof solution. Hackers are always finding ways around these things. All right, what do you suggest we do then? We need to make sure that our encryption is up to PAR. We also have to monitor all transactions, looking out for any unusual activity. So we need to beef up our security measures for real-time monitoring as well? Yes, that's right. We should also look into security auditing and penetration testing to identify any vulnerabilities. Hmm, sounds like we have a lot of work to do. What about firewalls and antivirus software? Definitely important, but they're only part of the equation. We have to take a multifaceted approach to security. Understood. What about training our employees to follow secure protocols? That's crucial too. Employees are often the weakest link in the chain, so we need to educate them on common threats and best practices for security. Right, it's all about creating a culture of security awareness. Absolutely. It's not just about having the right technology, but also the right mindset. Great, thanks for your insight, B. I feel like I have a better grasp on what we need to do now. No problem, happy to help. This is all in a day's work for us security nerds, right? Haha, <laughs> that's for sure. I'll catch you later, B. Hey B, have you ever tried falafel before? Yes, I have. It's absolutely delicious. Right? What do you think makes it so good? I think it's a combination of the crispy exterior and the tender, flavorful interior. I totally agree. And have you ever had it with hummus? Of course. It's the perfect pairing. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Did you know that falafel is actually a very old food? Really? I had no idea. Do you know where it originated? Yup. It's originally from the Middle East. Ah, that's interesting. Do you prefer it in a sandwich or on its own? Personally, I like it in a sandwich. But either way, it's always delicious. Agreed. And what about toppings? Do you have a favorite? I enjoy adding some fresh veggies like tomatoes and cucumbers and a drizzle of tahini sauce. Oh, that sounds heavenly. I think I know what my lunch will be today. Same here. Falafel for the win. Good morning, B. How's the catch today? Hi, Captain. We caught some good ones today. But it's getting more difficult to catch fish these days. Yes, I know. With the growing demand for seafood, it's a real challenge to manage the fisheries sustainably. Absolutely. Overfishing, climate change, pollution, and lack of effective management are all contributing to the decline in fish population. That's right. We need to find ways to balance conservation and economic use of marine resources. I agree. One way could be through encouraging the use of responsible fishing gear and practices and supporting small-scale fishers like us. Yes, and developing partnerships with government, NGOs, and other stakeholders to promote sustainable fisheries management. It's encouraging to see many initiatives taking place in this direction. But there's still a long way to go. Indeed. But if we all work together and do our part, we can ensure the oceans remain healthy and productive for generations to come. I couldn't agree more. Thanks for listening, Captain. My pleasure, B. Let's hope for a better future for our oceans and our communities. Hey B, how's it going? Did you catch any bugs in the software yet? Hey A, it's going pretty well so far. I've found a few bugs here and there, but nothing too serious. That's good to hear. I've been working on fixing some of the issues you found earlier. Do you have any new ones to report? Actually, there's one that's been bugging me. Every time I try to open the settings menu, the software crashes. Hmm, that's definitely not supposed to happen. Let me take a look at the code and see what's causing that. Thanks, I appreciate it. In the meantime, have you heard about that new game that came out yesterday? It's supposed to be really good. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to check it out. I heard it's a combination of strategy and RPG elements. That's right. I played it for a few hours last night and I'm already hooked. Well, don't let me distract you from testing our own software. We can play that game later if we have time. Sounds good. I'll keep searching for any more bugs while you work on the settings issue. Great, I'll let you know when I have an update. Keep up the good work, B. Will do, A, thanks for helping out with this software. Oh no, officer. I think I made a wrong turn. I'm lost. Don't worry, sir. What did you see on the road signs? There was a sign that said NO left turn. 
but I didn't notice it until it was too late. I see. Well, that means you can't make a left turn here. Yes, I understand now. I'm sorry about that. What should I do instead? You could try turning right and looking for a place to turn around. All right, I'll do that. Thanks for your help. No problem, sir. It's important to follow the road signs, especially for your safety and others. Absolutely. I'll be more careful from now on. Good to hear. Have a safe and pleasant journey, sir. Thank you, officer. Have a nice day. Hi there, have you tried the shrimp cocktail? Yes, I sure have. What did you think of it? I just tried it for the first time and I must say, it was quite delicious. I agree, the sauce was lovely and tangy. Not too spicy, but with just enough kick. I also appreciate the presentation. The way it was served in a champagne flute really made it feel like a fancy treat. Absolutely. And the shrimp themselves were cooked just right. Not too tough or too soft. I've had shrimp cocktail before, but this one definitely stood out to me. Same here. It's the perfect appetizer. Light and refreshing, but still satisfying. I wonder if they make the sauce in-house. I was curious about that too. I'll have to ask our waiter. I could definitely see myself ordering this again. Me too. It's a classic for a reason. And the portion size is just right. Enough to share, but not too much that it fills you up. Good point. It's the perfect start to a meal. I'm glad we both enjoyed it. Same here. Now, let's see what else is on the menu. Good evening, sir. How can I assist you? Hi, I'm here to check in for my reservation. My name is John Smith. All right, let me check. Yes, Mr. Smith, you have a reservation for a standard room for two nights. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. Do you have your ID and credit card with you? Sure, here they are. Perfect. Thank you. Typing on the computer, all set. Here's your key card. Your room is on the third floor. Just take the elevator on your left. Thank you. Can you tell me if there are any good restaurants nearby? Of course, there are plenty of options within walking distance. If you like Italian cuisine, I recommend Pizzeria Amici. If you prefer Asian food, there's a great sushi place called Sushi Kingdom. Thanks for the tips. Do you have any suggestions for entertainment around here? Well, we're in the theater district, so there are some great shows playing nearby. You could also visit the famous aquarium or go on a harbor cruise. That sounds amazing. Thanks for the help. One final question, what time is checkout? Checkout is at noon, sir. But if you need a later checkout, we can arrange it for you. No, that's all right. Thank you for your help. It was my pleasure. Enjoy your stay. Hey there. I'm a geologist. What brings you to these hills? Hello. I'm an adventurer. I'm here to explore these amazing geological wonders. Well, that's great because you've come to the right place. These hills are full of surprises. I'm excited. What kind of wonders can we find here? Well, we have some unique rock formations that have been shaped by water and wind erosion over millions of years. That sounds amazing. How did you discover these wonders? I spend a lot of time hiking and exploring the area. It's always exciting to find new geological treasures. I can't wait to see them. Do you have any favorites? Yes, there's a spot on this hill where you can see layers of sedimentary rock. It's like a timeline of the Earth's history. Wow, that's incredible. What kind of animals would have lived here on these hills back then? Well, we can't be sure, but we do find fossils of ancient sea creatures in some of the rock formations. Amazing. You really do have me hooked on this geology stuff. Glad to hear it. Exploring the Earth's history can be endlessly fascinating. I can see that. I definitely want to learn more about this subject. Thanks for showing me around today. My pleasure. It's great to share my knowledge with someone who's excited about geology. Hey there. How's it going? It's going great. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So, let's talk about the user interface for our social app. What are your thoughts? Well, I think we could use some improvements to increase user engagement. What do you suggest? One idea I have is to simplify the interface. We could reduce the number of buttons on the home screen, for example. That's a good point. What about the design? How can we make it more appealing to users? 
we could experiment with different color schemes and fonts. I think we should also focus on making it easy to navigate. Absolutely. We don't want users to feel lost or confused. Have you thought about adding any new features? Yes, I was considering adding a Discover page that shows users popular posts from around the app. What do you think? That could be interesting. We'll need to make sure it doesn't feel cluttered, though. How about integrating some social media elements? Like what? Maybe we could show users which friends are online or recommend new friends based on their interests. That's a great idea. We could also let users follow certain topics, like food or travel. Yes, that could be really useful. How can we make sure users actually use these new features, though? I think we need to do some user testing to see what works best. We could offer incentives for users who try out new features, too. Good idea. We should also make sure we're tracking user data to determine what's popular and what's not. Definitely. And we can use that data to make informed decisions about future updates. Agreed. I think we're on the right track to creating a better user interface. Thanks for your help, A. No problem, B. Let's touch base again soon and see how our ideas are working out. Hi there. I'm looking for some cool and unique socks to add to my collection. Of course. Well, have you heard about the latest fashion trends making their way from Tokyo? No, I haven't. What's new? These socks I have right here just arrived from Tokyo Fashion Week. They're all the rage right now. Wow, they look so fun and colorful. What makes them so special? These socks are made with high-quality materials that are both comfortable and durable. They're also designed to make a statement with their bright patterns and designs. I like the ones with the cats on them. And the Japanese writing is very interesting. That's right. Each pair of socks has a different design, which represents a unique aspect of Japanese culture. I love it. Do you have any more in stock? Yes, we do. We have a variety of sizes and colors to choose from. Great. I'll take a few pairs. These will definitely be a great addition to my wardrobe. Excellent choice. I know you love them just as much as I do. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. It's always a pleasure to help customers find the perfect items to add to their style. Hi there, can you recommend something for me that's new in your store? Absolutely. Have you heard of the Taipei Fashion Exhibition? We have this really cool new Pantai collection that was showcased there. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me more about it. Well, these panties are designed with a breathable fabric and come in a variety of fun colors and patterns. They're also meant to be super comfortable for all day wear. That sounds perfect. Can you show me some of them? Of course. We have this cute polka dot design that's been really popular lately. And there's also a lacy one with a delicate floral pattern. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Can I try them on? Absolutely, let me show you to the fitting room. And don't forget, if you buy two or more pairs, you'll get a 10% discount. That's a great deal. Thanks for letting me know. I think I'll definitely take a couple pairs with me. Great, I'm glad you found something you like. Do you need any other assistance? No, that's all for now. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Have a great day. Hey there. I heard we're supposed to optimize the database structure for our e-commerce website. Yeah, that's right. We've been experiencing slow loading times and inefficient queries. I see. So what's the current structure like? It's a relational database with a lot of tables and joins. We need to streamline that. Hmm, what if we consider a NoSQL database instead? It might handle our data better. That's a good point. However, we still need to keep our transactional data in a relational database. Right, we could use a hybrid solution. Do you think it would be better to have a star schema or a snowflake schema? I think we should go for a star schema so the database can be optimized for read-heavy queries. Okay, that makes sense. How about we use column family for our NoSQL database, as it suits our data storage pattern better? Sounds reasonable. We could also make use of indexing techniques to speed up the search process. Yes, that would be a great idea. I think we should use composite indexes rather than simple ones. Exactly. We should also consider the amount of RAM we have and allocate that properly to enhance performance. Agreed. We could also use compression to reduce disk usage and increase the speed of queries. Hmm, do you think we should consider shutting to further optimize for our large-scale data? Yeah, it's definitely something to think about. But let's first investigate the data size and query patterns. Sure thing. 
We could also implement caching techniques to reduce the need for database queries in the first place. Absolutely. And if we use a cloud-based service for our database management, we could potentially lower maintenance costs. I'm glad we're on the same page about this. Let's get to work and make our e-commerce website more efficient than ever. Hi there. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Of course. We're happy to have you here. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience in software development? Yes, certainly. I've been working in the industry for over 10 years now, and most recently, I was a senior developer at a large tech company. Great, that's impressive. I see you have a bachelor's degree in computer science. Do you feel that's given you the necessary foundation for this role? Definitely. I've been able to apply those principles to my work throughout my career, and I'm constantly learning and improving my skills. That's great to hear. Can you tell me about a time when you had to lead a team through a challenging project? Sure, I've actually led several successful projects throughout my career. One that comes to mind is when we had to implement a new feature on a tight deadline. I worked closely with my team to delegate tasks and ensure everything was completed on time. Excellent. And what about your experience with Agile methodologies? Yes, I'm very familiar with Agile practices and have worked with several different methodologies throughout my career. I believe in the importance of adaptability and continuous improvement. That's great to hear. Based on what you've shared today, I believe you have the necessary qualifications and experience to be a strong candidate for the senior software development manager role. Thank you for speaking with us today. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm excited about the possibility of working with your team. Have a great day. Hi there. I'm looking for a new dress for a wedding next week. Can you help me find something fabulous? Absolutely. Have you got any particular styles or colors in mind? Hmm, I was thinking something floral and bright, but not too dressy. Great, we have a new summer collection that might just fit the bill. Let's have a look. Ooh, I love this one. It's so flowy and the print is gorgeous. Yes, that's a popular choice. It's also available in a few different colors. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. And I'm thinking of pairing it up with some strappy sandals. Good choice. We have some really cute ones over here that might just catch your eye. Oh, these are perfect. I love the little bow detail. They're adorable, right? And they'll be great for the dance floor as well. You're right. I don't want to be stuck in high heels all night. Thanks for your help, by the way. You really know your stuff. No problem at all. It's always fun helping people find the perfect outfit. And I have to say, that dress looks stunning on you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to wear it next week. You're welcome. And if you need any more help in the future, you know where to find us. Definitely. I'll be back for sure. Have a great day. You too. Take care and enjoy the wedding. Hi there, I'm a traveler staying at this hotel. Hi. How can I assist you? I just wanted to check in and see if everything has been satisfactory during my stay here. Of course. I'm happy to help. Can I have your room number and name, please? Sure, it's room 203, and my name is John. Thank you, John. Let's see. It looks like you've been here for three nights so far. Is there anything that stands out in terms of your experience? Actually, everything has been great. The room is clean, the staff has been friendly, and I'm impressed with the amenities. That's wonderful to hear. Is there anything we could do to make your stay even better? Hmm, let me think. How about a massage service? Oh, we do have a spa on site. I can definitely help you book a massage appointment. Perfect. That sounds amazing. Great. We'll make sure to take care of everything for you. Anything else you need assistance with? No, that's all for now. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. We're glad to have you as a guest here. Enjoy your massage and the rest of your stay. Hi there, I'm the winemaker. Welcome to our vineyard. Thank you for having me. I'm the wine taster. I can't wait to taste your wines. Great. Which wine would you like to start with? How about the red wine? Sure thing. This one is made with Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. It's been aged for two years in oak barrels. Smells delicious. Let me give it a try. Takes a sip. Wow, this is smooth and bold. I'm glad you like it. What about the white wine? Yes, please. Which grapes are used for this one? This is a Chardonnay. It's been fermented in stainless steel tanks to maintain its fresh flavor. Tasting, mmm, it has a crisp and fruity taste. 
Perfect for a sunny day. Exactly. Would you like to taste our rose wine next? Yes, please. I'm curious to see how it compares to the red and white. Our rose is made with a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Franc grapes. It's a refreshing option for those who prefer a lighter wine. Tasting, this is a delightful surprise. It has a bright and fruity taste. I could easily drink this all summer long. I'm glad you enjoy it. Speaking of surprises, would you like to try our dessert wine? Oh, yes please. What's the name of this one? This is our ice wine. It's made with Riesling grapes that have been frozen on the vine before being harvested. Sipping, this is amazing. The sweetness is perfectly balanced with the acidity. It's like having a dessert in a glass. I'm glad you like it. We're really proud of our ice wine. Do you have any questions about our winemaking process? Yes, actually. How do you determine when it's time to harvest the grapes? It usually depends on the ripeness of the grapes, which is determined by their sugar levels. We also look at the acidity and pH levels. Once everything falls into place, we start the harvest. Fascinating. One last question, what's your personal favorite wine? That's a tough one. But if I had to choose, I would say our Cabernet Sauvignon. Its boldness really speaks to me. I can see why. It's a fantastic wine. Thank you so much for the tasting and for answering my questions. Thank you for coming by. It's always a pleasure to share our passion with others. Have a great day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for having me today. Hi there, thanks for coming in. Can you tell me a bit about your experience as a doorman? Sure. I worked at a luxury hotel in New York for two years, where I was responsible for greeting guests, assisting with their luggage, and hailing taxis. Great, that sounds like great experience. What would you do if a guest approached the hotel with a complaint? Well, I would remain calm and professional. I'd carefully listen to their complaint and do my best to offer a solution, whether it's finding a manager to speak with them or coordinating with other staff to address the issue. Very good. And what would you say is your greatest strength as a doorman? I believe my attentiveness is my greatest strength. I make an effort to remember guests' names and any specific requests they have, so they always feel welcome and taken care of. Excellent. Lastly, what do you think makes a hotel doorman stand out from others? I think someone who is personable and approachable is key. A doorman should make guests feel comfortable and welcome as soon as they arrive, setting the tone for a great stay. Thank you for your time and answers. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi, I'm a data scientist working on energy optimization. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'm an AI engineer working on energy distribution. Good to meet you too. Great. So, what strategies do you usually employ to optimize energy distribution? Well, we try to assess the power distribution grid for its energy distribution patterns and adjust any inconsistencies. And you? I use data analytics to recognize patterns that can help us save energy, from identifying excessive consumption to detecting underuse of renewable energy. That's really impressive. Have you ever thought of using AI to help with data collection? Yes, in fact, we've been experimenting with machine learning algorithms to predict energy usage patterns and ensure that we allocate resources accordingly. I like where this is going. Maybe we can combine your data analytics with my AI technology to help optimize energy usage and distribution for the whole company. Yes. We can team up to create an AI solution that can assist in predicting energy consumption patterns while also ensuring that energy resources are utilized effectively. That's perfect. We've just revolutionized the energy industry with our innovative solution. Indeed. It's great to have such a motivated and brilliant partner to work with on this project. Same here. It's so much fun working with someone who shares the same passion and drive for innovation. So, B, how do you think we can optimize our big data processing? Well, A, there are a few approaches we can take. Firstly, we can look at improving our hardware infrastructure. That's definitely one way to go. But what other options do we have? Another option is to optimize our code by re-engineering it to better suit our needs. Sounds promising. Could you give me an example of what that might look like? Sure, A. We could implement better caching mechanisms or switch to using more efficient algorithms. Right, those are both good ideas. But what's the best way to figure out which approach to take? We could run some performance tests on different configurations to see which method performs the best. That sounds like a good plan. But what about dealing with the sheer volume of data we have to process? 
Well, A, we could look into implementing distributed systems to process the data in parallel. That's interesting. Do you think it would be difficult to implement? It could be, but the benefits would definitely be worth the effort. I agree. We want to process this data as efficiently as possible. Do you have any other suggestions? We could also consider using machine learning algorithms to automate and speed up some of the processing. That's a good point, B. But how would we go about setting up a machine learning system? It would require some specialized knowledge and training, but I think it could be a really effective solution. Thanks for the input, B. It sounds like there are a lot of different ways we can optimize our big data processing. Yes, A. The key is finding the approach that works best for our specific situation and goals. Absolutely. I'm excited to start exploring some of these ideas and seeing what works for us. Me too, A. I think we can really make a difference in how efficiently we process our data. Hi, I'm a network engineer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm an information security expert. Great. So we're here to discuss how to protect personal information of students and staff? Yes, that's right. Especially with so many online classes, privacy is more important than ever. Absolutely. We need to make sure that sensitive information remains confidential. One way to do this is to limit access to personal information to only necessary staff members. Another way is to encrypt data transmissions so that any intercepted information cannot be used by malicious hackers. And of course, students and staff should be educated on how to protect their own personal information, such as using strong passwords and being cautious of phishing emails. Definitely. It's important to keep all parties informed and aware of the risks involved. It's also a good idea to have a designated IT team that can monitor the network and identify any suspicious activity. That's a great suggestion. They can always stay on top of any security threats and ensure that everyone's personal information is safe. And let's not forget about physical security, too. Access to paper files and documents with personal information should be limited and monitored as well. Right, we need to be vigilant and proactive when it comes to safeguarding sensitive information. Well said. I think taking all of these measures will definitely help protect the privacy of our students and staff. Definitely. Thanks for the chat. It was nice exchange information with you. Same to you. See you around. Good afternoon, Mr. B. How's it going today? Great. Thank you for asking. Hey. How about you? I'm doing well, too. I was just reviewing today's menu, and I noticed our special of the day is fish and chips. Yes, it's one of our best sellers. Do you have any suggestions on how we can make it even better? Well, I was thinking we could try using a different type of fish, like haddock or cod, and maybe add some lemon zest to the batter for an extra zing. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. I'm sure our customers will love it. And while we're on the topic of specials, have you thought of any new ideas for next month's menu? Actually, I have. How about a grilled shrimp with mango salsa dish? It's light and refreshing, perfect for the summer season. I like it. Let's test it out with our staff and see how it turns out before we add it to the menu. Speaking of staff, how's the new dishwasher working out? He's doing great. He's been very efficient and reliable. And the kitchen staff has been training him on other tasks, like peeling potatoes and prepping vegetables. Excellent. I'm glad to hear he's fitting in well. And what about our regular customers? Have you noticed any changes in their needs or preferences? Actually, quite a few customers have been asking about vegetarian and vegan options. Maybe we could add a few more to the menu. Hmm, that's a good point. Let's research some recipes and see what we can come up with. Well, hey, thanks for the updates. It seems like everything is running smoothly. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. B. I'm always happy to help out and make our customers happy. Have a great afternoon. Good morning, B. How was your weekend? It was fantastic, A. I tried out a new recipe for macarons, they turned out great. That's amazing. Your pastries are always so delicious, and my chocolates pair perfectly with them. Yes, our collaboration has been a hit with the locals. What do you have planned for the week? I actually just got a request for a chocolate sculpture of the Eiffel Tower for a special event. It's going to be quite the challenge. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic opportunity to showcase your talent. I've got a few wedding cake orders I need to work on, and I also plan on experimenting with some new flavors. It's always great to expand our repertoire. By the way, have you tried the new coffee at the cafe down the street? No, I haven't had the chance yet. Is it worth trying out? Definitely. 
they roast their own beans and the aroma is just heavenly. It would be a great addition to our desserts. Sounds like we should make a trip there this afternoon then. I could use a caffeine boost to get through my orders. Haha, <laughs> I know the feeling. Let's say around 3 p.m.? And bring a notepad, we can brainstorm some new ideas together. Perfect. It's always great bouncing ideas with you, eh? I can't wait to see what delicious creations we can come up with. Hey, have you ever tried coxinha, the Brazilian snack? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's amazing. It's a deep-fried dough with a filling of shredded chicken and cream cheese. It's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Oh, that sounds delicious. Where can I find them? There are many Brazilian restaurants that serve coxinhas, and some fast food places are offering them too. You should give it a try. Do you think it's healthy? Um, I don't think so, but who cares when it's so tasty, right? Everything in moderation. I agree. What other fillings can you have besides chicken? You can have beef, shrimp, cheese, or even chocolate. It sounds weird, but it's actually really good. Wow, I'm impressed by its versatility. I'll definitely try it soon. You should. And you can also try its cousin, Rissoles. It's similar to coxinha, but with a different shape and fillings, like ham and cheese. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll give them a shot. No worries. You won't regret it. Coxinhas are my go-to snack, and I can't get enough of them. Good morning, sir. May I ask you for some advice on a baggage handling issue that we've had recently? Of course, miss. What seems to be the problem? Well, we've noticed that some passengers' bags are getting misplaced between connecting flights. We were wondering if there's anything we can do to improve the process. Yes, that can definitely be an issue. One suggestion would be to implement a better tracking system for bags so that they don't get lost in transit. That's a great idea. Do you have any specific recommendations for a tracking system? Well, one option would be to use RFID tags on the bags, which can be read by scanners throughout the journey. I see. That sounds like a really effective solution. Do you think it would be possible for us to implement that system in the near future? It might take some time and investment, but ultimately it would be worth it for the improvement in customer satisfaction and streamlined operations. I completely agree. Thank you so much for your help and advice. No problem at all. Happy to assist in any way we can. Have a great day, miss. You too, sir. Thanks again. Hi there, I need some help with my mileage accumulation. Sure thing. Can I get your name and membership number, please? Of course, my name is John Smith, and my membership number is 1234567. Thank you, Mr. Smith. So, how can I assist you with your mileage accumulation today? I'm just wondering if there's been any update on my recent flight mileage. Let me check that for you. Hmm, it seems that you've earned 500 miles on your last flight. Perfect. That puts me closer to my goal for a free flight. Yes, every little bit helps. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a great day, Mr. Smith. You too. Oh, and one more thing, have you heard any good travel recommendations lately? Actually, my colleagues were raving about their recent trip to Bali. Beautiful beaches and amazing food, I hear. Wow, that sounds dreamy. Maybe I'll make that my next destination. Can't go wrong with Bali. Let me know if you need any help booking your trip. Thanks, I will. Have a good one. You too, take care. Hey B, have you heard about ISO 27001 security incident? Yeah, I have. Why do you ask? Well, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Do you know how it differs from regular security breaches? Absolutely. ISO 27001 is an international standard that outlines the best practices for managing information security incidents. This means that companies can follow a set of guidelines that have been agreed upon globally. That makes sense. Can you give me an example of a security incident that would fall under this standard? Sure. Let's say someone hacks into your company's server and steals sensitive data. That would definitely qualify as a security incident. Ah, uh, I see. So, what do companies need to do in order to comply with the standard? Well, first they need to identify any potential risks and implement measures to prevent them. Then, they need to have a plan in place in case an incident does occur. This includes establishing reporting procedures and ensuring that all employees are trained to handle security incidents. Wow, it sounds like a lot of work. 
Have you ever been involved in responding to a security incident? Yes, I have. It can be a stressful experience, but if you have a good plan in place, it makes things a lot easier. That's good to know. Do you think all companies should be required to follow the standard? I do. Information security is becoming increasingly important in today's digital age, and companies need to take it seriously in order to protect their customers and their reputation. Absolutely. Thanks for explaining all of this to me, B. You always make things so clear. No problem. Happy to help. And remember, when it comes to information security, it's better to be safe than sorry. Hello there. How may I assist you today? Hi. I'm interested in the Overseas Exchange Program. Can you tell me more about it? Sure thing. We have several partner universities across the globe where our students can attend for a semester or two. That sounds amazing. What countries are on the list? We have partnerships with universities in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and several countries throughout Europe and Asia. Wow. That's quite a list. How do I apply for it? You can submit your application online, through our website, or in person at the International Affairs Office. Do I need to meet any requirements? Yes, you need to have a minimum GPA of 3.0 and have completed at least 30 credit hours. I see. How much would it cost? That depends on the duration and location of the program. But, we do have various scholarships and financial aid options available. That definitely helps. Can I go for more than one program? Of course. You can attend as many programs as you wish, as long as you meet the requirements and have the necessary funds. Great. This is such a fantastic opportunity. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any more questions. Good luck with your application. Good morning. I'm the baker and I'm here to pick up some coffee beans for our bakery. Good morning to you too. Would you like me to grind the coffee beans for you? Yes, please. We want them ground for a French press. And can I also get some information on the flavors of the different beans? Of course, we have a few options here. Our Sumatra beans are earthy with a hint of chocolate, and our Ethiopian Yurgachev beans offer a fruity and floral flavor. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Can we mix them together for a unique flavor? Absolutely, we love experimenting with flavors here. What's the occasion? We're making some sweet pastries, and we want a flavor that can complement them. Sounds delicious. How many pounds of coffee beans would you like? Just five pounds for now. We want to try it out before ordering more. No problem. I'll have that ready for you in a couple of minutes. Do you need any pastries to go with your coffee? Actually, we're all set on the pastry end. But I'd love to try a cup of your coffee before I go. Great. Let me make you a drip coffee with our house blend. MMM, this coffee is amazing. I can taste the chocolate notes. I'm glad you like it. We take pride in our coffee beans and brewing methods. It's clear that you put a lot of effort into your work. Do you have any plans for expanding your business? Actually, we're thinking of opening another branch in the neighboring city. We want to bring our unique coffee flavors to more customers. That's exciting news. I'm sure your flavorful coffee will be a hit there too. Thank you, we hope so. It was great talking to you today, and I hope to see you again soon. Likewise. Thank you for the great service and delicious coffee. Have a great day.